Hi everybody, welcome back to Tam Predicts. Today is a special request for me to do a love spell. Uh, so I've been reading about a lot of love spells and I did come up with my own little bit a different version and I think it will really work for you guys. Uh, this is for people, this love spell will work if the other person has feelings for you, some kind of feelings and probably you know you had a fight and things didn't go too well and you want to sweeten your relationship uh, with, with the person and you want uh, to uh, you know uh, lighten up to the fact to talk to you or the person has not been speaking to you, you're loved one uh, your lover and you want the person to call you and uh, think good about you so this is to uh, uh, you know uh, make make uh, things sweeter between you two and uh, you know it's easier for you it'll be easier for you to reach out to the other person and uh, the other person will open up a bit more to you uh, will not be so angry and you can attract your ex lover back your boyfriend back if you've not been talking remember that it is not to bind the other person guys I don't want to do anything that binds the other person it is all about free will if the person wants to be with you the person will call you the person will want to be with you is just to uh, make the feeling stronger this uh, because like you know honey uh, I'm gonna use honey so honey uh, sweetens uh, the whole relationship honey is a sweetener and it will act as a sweetener here also so uh, guys first thing I want you to say is uh, just believe in the spell that is going to work for you if you start with the uh, negative feeling that it's not going to work for me it will not work for you uh, you can put whatever intentions you want but if there is no belief that the universe has your back or will work with you this spell will not work with you it's a very easy spell i'm going to tell you the ingredients that are needed it's very simple first you need a red pen okay second you need is a clear glass jar i don't have a jar that's clear so i'm using this it should not have anything this one has stickers i'm using a old jar so uh, have a new jar and if you don't have a new jar if you have a glass jar i want you to clean it with salt uh, mix a little salt uh, in water and clean your jar but it will be good if the jar really hasn't uh, used for any other purpose because there are energies in everything that we eat, do, uh, use, say. So I, I want to say start with a new jar. So get a glass jar. It doesn't matter how big or small it is. It's good to work with this size jar. But if you have a bigger jar, it's fine. Uh, the spell uh, is not going to be affected by uh, what uh, the uh, how the jar is. But I would want you to work with a glass jar if you can. Okay. So you need a red pen. You need a glass jar. You need a pink ribbon, guys. Guys, no other color no black no blue no red uh, no uh, light blue nothing no white you have to get a pink color ribbon if you don't have one I want you to get one and then start this spell okay you can do the spell uh, later whenever you have all the ingredients it's very simple uh, you don't need much you need a jar of honey of course take any honey okay whatever honey you use at home and I want you to get a blank sheet of paper white paper this I've written already written something on it so don't see that because I'm going to use it in the spell I want you to uh, take uh, paper and uh, white colored paper it could be uh, uh, this big or whatever this small so just take a white colored sheet nothing uh, written on it not rule, any rule paper okay so I'm going to start the uh, spell so you go to uh, take the white paper okay and with the red pen you are this is going to uh, look opposite because I've not used the uh, mi uh, mirror effect right now so you'll have to read it I want you to write the guy's name full name you know I've written uh, John Mac whatever the guy's name is first name and last name of the guy uh, you want uh, to sweeten up uh, your his feelings towards you or to be more receptive to what you're saying and to open up like I said more towards uh, your love in the in this side uh, on this side you need to write your first name and your last name so first name and your last name so I've just written Joe Denver so uh, the lover's name and this could be this is your name okay so whatever is the lover's name first name and uh, the surname I'm gonna say surname because that's easier for you to understand first name last name last name is the surname so it is like uh, my uh, full name is Tamanna Virwani so that will go here you can write guy's name you know XYZ uh, and the surname here so once you've written it you can decorate the white paper you can make hearts you can make flowers but remember to work with a red colored pen because red is the color of love and I want this uh, spell to work faster guys uh, for you. So just write first name, last name I'm repeating, uh, the uh, guy's name or the girl's name, whoever uh, you want to sweeten up and uh, this is your first name and your last name. Uh, write it like this, uh, make uh, flowers, hearts, whatever you want to uh, represent your love with. You want to uh, make, a, uh, make a ring around it like a diamond ring, whatever you want, commitment. So do that, fold the paper, so both names face towards each other, fold the paper, okay, fold the paper, they need to face towards, towards each other, both the names, once you fold it, 
tie it with the pink ribbon i want you to fold it like this roll it and tie it with a pink ribbon okay use the pink ribbon tie the nails okay i'm just tying it up guys so you can uh, get your ingredients and follow it later you can see it later you can see it number of times i'm uploading it so uh, you've tied the name with a pink ribbon there is uh, no uh, the, you know uh, signs to how to uh, tie it or to make a bow not to make a bow how many times to tie it just tie it with love you know when you're tying it put all your love into it take the honey jar now what you've got to do is uh, i'm not going to do the spell because i don't want to do the spell right now everything is fine so i don't want to sweeten any relationship just uh, drop this paper in the jar okay so uh, you've dropped the paper in the jar now use the honey and pour the honey and fill the jar with honey okay once you've dropped the paper with the ribbon around just pour uh, honey in the jar yeah, this should be submerged okay everything should be submerged it should be coated with honey and uh, uh, depending on how much honey you need for the paper uh, to uh, totally get submerged and uh, you know full uh, filled with uh, honey till here and uh, the white paper should not be sticking out it's not that you put less honey and the white paper has not been coated with honey I want you to uh, fill it up with honey as much as you need I just want you to put a lid on this and the last step guys please keep it in a dark place like um, you know in, in a cupboard where nobody else can see it there is no sunlight at the back of the uh, cupboard totally in your drawer it has to be in a dark place your spell is cast uh, you will uh, there should be nobody who finds this jar or you should not be able to spot this jar so you have to keep it in a place like that which is dark remember that uh, the cupboards work uh, the best because you can just push it uh, in a corner in the cupboard and your uh, love jar spell will work the honey will sweeten the relationship guys just believe in it first thing i want to say uh, the uh, first thing and the last thing i want to say is only do it on a person or for a person you really want to have a relationship or the person already has feelings for you so this will work the best if really the person has feelings uh, for you and something didn't go right probably you had a fight or there was a misunderstanding there was miscommunication or you want the person back uh, you know it will work if you want the person back and the person also wants wants to come back to you so it will uh, sweeten the relationship in this way and uh, once you think the person has really opened up the person has come back to you the person is speaking to you well calling you I would want you to dispose it off just throw it in the bin you can wrap it in anything in plastic or whatever you can empty it empty the contents uh, you know and uh, just uh, tear the paper and uh, throw it because your spell has done its work uh, honey sweetened your relationship so it's a very easy spell I'm just going to tell you what you need you need a red pen you need a pink ribbon you need a glass jar no matter how big small it is it has to be a glass jar it is better if it's a new jar but if you don't have anything right now and you want to use an old jar I want you to clean it with salt water put a little uh, salt in water just wash it with uh, salt water let it dry and then use it and you need honey you can take any kind of honey uh, doesn't really matter whatever honey you normally use at home uh, use that honey write on the paper your name uh, your last name his name his last name fold it so they uh, fold the paper so it faces each other the names tie it with the pink ribbon drop it in the jar and after that pour honey very lovingly thinking about the person visualizing uh, you being with the person visualizing that the person is calling you you can do a little variation in your spell also you know you can think about the person lovingly and that will uh, open up the person a lot more you know whatever your intentions are your feelings that will work the best with the other person and then just place the jar once you filled it with honey and you close the lid properly in a dark place in your cupboard or any place that you think nobody will see it or you won't see it and you don't have to see it every every day and once your spell is cast and you think the other person is uh, really sweetened up uh, you know to you and is talking to you like I'm saying and your lover is back so uh, just throw the contents dispose of the jar you can wash, wash the jar I don't want you to reuse it I just want you to throw it away I don't like uh, using uh, the jars again where you've cast a spell so remember only cast it if the other person has feelings for you don't cast it for a complete stranger I don't want you to bind the person remember it is the best if it works on free will that's that's the way it works the best and guys these things actually work you just have to believe in it nothing else it's 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 very simple magic belief is a simple magic and affirmations and intentions and I would say pure heart is the best thing you know when you casting uh, spells do not do anything bad to the other person if the person has to come back in your life remember will come back to your life so uh, just let me know if uh, you know how it worked 
when it worked, how much time it ta uh, took to work. And I'm sure it's going to take time for a uh, lot of people. It's going to work instantly, um, you know, for people. You, you'll see the other person really opening up to you and, you know, uh, you, uh, you know, falling in back. I want to say, you know, almost falling, uh, you know, in love with you and uh, calling you when returning your calls. So it's going to sweeten up the relationship. That's what I'm going to call it. So thank you so much, guys. I'm going to uh, upload another video, video, a different kind of a spell because uh, people have started writing, do this uh, spell, do that spell. I also read a lot about spells and then I make my own spells. I like making my own spells too. Uh, so thank you so much. And I will upload another video. Do subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and I'll be back soon, like I said. Thank you, guys.